done the same thing. If I was here, I'd I'd have done it for him. I don't I don't do, I don't deal with thieves, man. Customers right now are praising a gas station clerk after he says he defended himself and shot and killed an armed robber at his convenience store. And tonight, investigators are still piecing together specifically what happened inside the store late last night. The Phillips 66 gas station near Keystone Avenue and I-65 on the city's southeast side. RTV6's Mike Pelton has been digging into this case all day and joins us with the latest on the investigation. Well, police tell us the man who died did have a gun on him and authorities believe he was trying to rob the gas station. Now, the coroner today identified that man as 20 year old Levi Walker, who was shot twice in the upper torso. Now, right now, investigators are looking over surveillance video from the gas station to review the clerk's claims of self-defense. Now, today, customers I talked to tell me the clerk who pulled the trigger is also the owner of the store, who they describe as a good guy just trying to earn a living. The shooting took place just before midnight and police believe the 20 year old suspect drove to the gas station to rob it before the clerk shot him inside the store. Customers tell me the location just off I-65 allows for all types of people to pass through the gas station and they say this store has fallen victim to robberies before. He does, uh, you know, keep himself protected and his property protected. So, you know, he's got that right. He's got, you know, to protect and defend himself because I'm glad that he defended himself and didn't get hurt himself the guy didn't come the guy come in with the intention to hurt him and rob him um, you know it was self-defense all the way through is from what I could tell and that surveillance video will play a big role in this investigation as police tell me the clerk and the robbery suspect were the only people inside the gas station at the time of the shooting. Now, Metro Police stress all of this remains under investigation. Ultimately, this case will go to the Marion County Prosecutor's Office, who will decide whether or not to file charges. On the southeast side tonight, Mike Pelton, RTV6.